It's coming. Are you ready? the enemy works so hard to keep us bound and ignorant of our real identity because the devil knows that if you ever got a right revelation about who you are and the power you have that the enemy would have no choice let's go to loose the hold that God has on your life and can I tell you tonight that God is calling for you to change your choices all because when you change your choices, God can use you. When you change your choices, God can change your situation. When you change your choices, he can pick you up and he can turn you around and he can place your feet on a solid ground. Radio. So while conference is coming up and the theme this year is breakthrough, yeah. can you tell me about a breakthrough that happened in your life? Absolutely. So what comes to mind when you think when I think about breakthrough, it was um, so Charlie will be about 11 years old. And if you've been here a while, you already know that Charlie is known as the wild baby. And that is because I experienced two miscarriages prior to conceiving Charlie. I've gone through IVF cycles. And so I just kept praying and praying and praying. I kept a journal. I kept journaling and journaling. And so when I decided that I was going to go back to try one more round of IVF, the Lord was like, no, I got you. And so I ended up conceiving Charlie. And so that breakthrough for me was just standing one conference. I, uh, I told the ladies about my experience in my experience with um, having miscarriages, but I said within my heart of hearts, I knew that God was going to give me the desires of my heart. And I could not have scripted this better because the year that I was pregnant with Charlie, the conference was July, 2013. And I stood here and my shirt said, yes, the Lord did it. And another shirt said, yes, God is able. And I stood here in July of 2013 and I had Charlie in August, 2013. And to me, that was a significant breakthrough. Yeah, that's amazing. Absolutely. So tell me about yours. We have this generational gap, yeah. but I'm excited because I look forward to seeing what fresh ideas and new things. But I also know that sometimes when you're young, people sort of like, oh, you really don't have a story, but that's yeah. not the case. And so I want you to share with us, if you would, one significant breakthrough that you've experienced. Yeah. So you know what's crazy? I said something else when we were off camera, but I have another one because you just <laughs> spoke about the generational difference. So I just moved out of my mom's house and like my family house for the first time two, two, almost three years ago now. And when I say it was just, it was one of those situations where God was like, I need you in your own space. Cause I need mm -hmm. to, I need you to get to know me for yourself. Um, and I was like, Lord, I don't know how to do that. And so I told my mom, I was like, I, I think it's time for me to, you know, make that leap. And you know, in this day and age, she's like, you need to buy a house. You need to stay home, save your money, and just wait. Just wait until you get you a husband and all of that. And I'm like, Mommy, I really feel the Lord is tugging at me. And so I ended up moving into this roommate situation, and it was so much turmoil because mm -hmm. I wasn't doing what God had actually asked me to do, right? I took a sort of detour, a safe detour, to do what I felt comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. And so I just was like, you know what? All of the things have hit the wall at this point. So let me just try. I literally was told that the townhouse I was living in was going to um, be on sale. So she was like, the open houses are gonna start. You figure it out. I'm gonna do me, you do you. And the first apartment complex I went to, I got approved. I, did, I had enough money to do all of the things that I needed to do to move. 
And once I moved in, I invited my mom to come. And she was like, I know this apartment. And I was like, what do you mean you know my apartment? This is the first time you've been here. And she was like, no, this is actually the first apartment complex me and your dad moved into when we moved to Atlanta from Tifton after he got out of the Marines. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, you grew up here. Like as a child, your, your my older sister had been born and then I was right after her and that was the apartment complex that we stayed in. Oh and God. it was like, we bought a house after that and my whole life just started to happen. But I didn't even know that God literally sent me right back to the place where my life literally <laughs> started and I got this new start and I'm in such a different place now mm -hmm. of maturity and expansion and like I'm just learning God in such a new way because he's revealing himself exactly how he wanted to but I just had to be obedient and take yeah. that step and he put it all together so miraculous yeah, absolutely great girl yeah